Hey, <laughs> how are you doing? I've lost my mind. Um, I'm already like maybe a tenth of the way in through this project, but um, sorry, I'm so thirsty. Um, I'm just now decided I should document it. Um, but before I do, do you promise not to judge me? Is that too much to ask? I think that's, that's too much. Anyway, you can judge me. It's fine. Um, sorry, my kids are wrestling. We love to like do fight nights and that's what they're doing out there. Um, I usually join them, but I got deep into a project. So long story long. We have the weekend off, but I don't know how to relax. Like anybody that knows me will tell you, I will be sick and I'll be doing projects. Like I can't relax. I can't nap. I can't sit. I can sit for about 10, 15 minutes and then I have to get up and get moving. And so the rest of my family, they're like chilling, relaxing, having a good Saturday. And I'm over here like, this sucks. Um, but also I did need a break from the church, um, working on it. The Goldie, by the way, if you haven't heard, her name is the Goldie. I decided to clean out my closet, which I have done in the past and I've done videos. I think in videos you've seen my closet. Um, if I can find a clip of it, I'm gonna insert it here. Round two. This is where the judgment needs to stop or you know what? I'm pretty secure in myself, it's fine. So a little backstory, we built our house did not build our house. Our house was built in 1852. It's very old. It did not have any closets. Somebody owned it prior to Kaysen's family in the 90s and they redid a lot of it. And they, um, I don't know what, what the configuration was prior to them redoing it, but they added a walk-in closet. We moved in, we shoved our crap in, we called it a day. And every day since I've hated it, it's disorganized, it's not laid out well. And every time I try to like organize it, I organize it while everything's in there and it just doesn't work. So I looked at Kaysen, it was 515, and I said, babe, um, I'm gonna organize the closet and I'm gonna try real hard to be done by the end of Sunday. So the end of tomorrow. So when we start our work week on Monday, our closet's back together, but I'm removing everything. I did that. Let me show you what we're working with. Again, don't judge. Well, I need to stop saying that. Okay. You got my dresses, my jackets, my short and long sleeve shirts, my pants, my skirts, bows clothes. Um, that's our sauna. No, I did not make my bed today. It's Saturday. Um, that's all of Kaysen's clothes in the sauna. Um, way back there is all my bags. Come with me down my hallway. Right here is like hats, gloves, junk, miscellaneous. And then in my ooh, tub room, sorry to make you dizzy. Um, all the stuff on the ground is like buckets of like random stuff. And then, hold on, this is our tub, uh, shoe tub. <laughs> And just to make it even worse, we also have, let's see, that thing at the end of our bed full of shoes on the top of that is full of shoes. Oh, I'm too much. Anyway, let me turn, well, I might show you better this way. Let me turn the camera around and show you my empty closet. That's the door to get in. They put these shelves. my wedding dress and then if I go one rack two racks three racks and these like boxes all the way up so there's like some build I mean it's just anyway but also I was just telling Kaysen please ignore please ignore I look they like over sprayed it but that's hardwood can you see that again I know this is nasty I'm sorry if I was like cared about the way you thought of me, I probably would have cleaned that first, but I'm on a deadline, y'all. I got to go. And last minute, I was like, let me film this. So you get the quick version. Here's the thing. It's blue carpet. It's been there since the 90s. I hate carpet anyway, because that's a 
lot of filth that just like trickles down. So even if it's like subfloor, I almost don't care. I think it'd be better than the blue carpet. So Jason, it's, it took me about an hour to get all of our stuff out. I mean, that's how much junk we have in there. Um, and then Jason's cooking dinner for the girls, which um, I told him I was just skipping dinner right now because if I needed to get this done, we need to go. So I'm gonna go find a box knife, box cutter. I don't know. I'm gonna start pulling out carpet and see where that goes. All right, husband to the rescue. We vacuumed as best we could. We brought our air purifier in here because this is 30 years of debris. <laughs> Debris. I always call it debris. Um, let's see. Pull it back. Show us what's under there so far. So far, so good. Oh my gosh. Not bad. That's beautiful. Yes. Yeah, I don't care how rough it is. It's better than blue carpet. All right. Ooh. Allergy wifey is walking away. I love you. I'm going to organize clothes while you do the gross part. All right. You're welcome. You're the best. I know. Better than all the rest. Yep. Okay, so I started this project at like 5.15 and now it's 8.15. So, I'm three hours in. Um, and I think this will be my last update for tonight. Here's where we're at. Once we decided to rip up the carpet, Casey like pulled a piece and dust went flying. We vacuumed really well before, but it was, you know, 30 years. And so, Casey went and put on like, the whole mask with the filters and everything he uses when he like sands and stuff. Um, and we put our air purifier in there and it is dusty. So he ripped up the carpet. We actually have a dumpster cause, um, we just replaced the roof on our church. And so we saw the dumpster there. So he ran and put that stuff in the dumpster. He vacuumed about three times, swept about three times, but it is still, nasty so whew, my allergies just even just the clothes like so much whew. anyway so we have that room like quarantined off for now we're letting the air purifier run we've cleaned it as much as we can for the day um so i was hoping to actually start putting stuff back in there but i can't because that room is donezo for the day so it's been kind of hard because we have to sleep in our room with all the clothes. And so I don't want to make such a mess that I can't sleep on my bed or walk to the bathroom if I need to or shut my door or whatever. So I'm um, spend the past hour or two, like briefly going through the clothes that are a little more accessible and just starting to cull some out. Now I am going through my Tubbo shoes. Um, I did, if you follow me on Instagram, like a year or two ago, I, I organized and cleaned out my shoes and I counted and I had over a hundred pair. Um, I have been shoe obsessed since I was born. My dad called me Amelda Marcos when I was younger. If you don't know who she is, look it up. She loves shoes, but I think it's time. Like my goal is to only put stuff back in my closet that I love and I wear. The only exceptions to those rules are things that are nostalgic. I'm sorry. I'm a nostalgic lady. Um, I'm going to keep it. We have that third row. So I'm going to just put nostalgia stuff up there or maybe in the attic. So that's an exception to the rule. And then also, I don't like to keep clothes that don't fit. But I do fluctuate in weight quite a bit. Um, and so my rule with that is if I can find it again and buy it later, then let's sell it or get rid of it. And then I'll find it again or buy it later. But I have a couple pieces that are just unique, expensive, hard to find, vintage, things like that, um, that maybe I'll never fit into, but I want them for my collection, if that makes sense. I know that doesn't make sense to a lot of people unless you're, you know, you collect things. Like, I collect clothes. So there's a few exceptions to that rule, but I'm trying so hard. Right now, I'm gonna start going through some shoes. <laughs> Good morning from the closet. It's the next day, it's Sunday morning. Today's the day I have to get all of this put back together. I knew that I could get all this stuff out and then organize and put back in two days or a day and a half. But now that we've ripped up the carpet, 
There's like all the little like nails, not nails, staples, like heavy duty staples. And so I figured I, before I got ready, I could try to rip up some staples. So I've got my pliers, casings. Um, and then also as I'm doing it, I have like some cleaning supplies here. So I'm like starting on one end, pulling up and like deep cleaning too. These floors don't look like they have a finish on them and I know they're gonna need finish. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure though. So, but for now, my goal is to get staples out and clean the floors. That's what the floor looks like. Much better than 30 year old blue carpet for sure. My problem is um, this was supposed to be a one and a half day project and now I have all these fun ideas for the floor, but I'm going to not because we have got to get this church finished and up and running. Not ideal, but I'm so happy to not have the carpet in here. Kaysen, I just cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it. I know it doesn't look clean, but it's clean. Um, Kaysen's just going to throw on one quick finish coat, just a clear finish coat. It's not going to look great, but it's going to protect the floors. It's, anyway, we're just going to be happy that we have wood floors in here and we will refinish them at a later date. We've got to get this done today because tomorrow is church day. Jason's already abandoning me because he's so ready to get back on the church. So he's going to Throw on a quick finish for me. I'm gonna put all my fans, trying to dry the finish. Um, it's like 12 right now. So hopefully I'm gonna, in my room, organize all the shoes and clothes as best I can. And then this evening, once the finish is dry, I know we should wait 24 hours. Do as I say, not as I do. Isn't that what they say? I'm putting the clothes back in tonight. Um, we did one coat of poly on the floors and they were so dry, this wood, it just sucked it up and it doesn't even look like we put a coat of poly on there. But you know what? I have big plans for these floors, so I'm just not going to worry about it. Like there's no splinters, like it's sanded nicely. It's good wood. We're just going to move on. I'll throw a rug on the ground if I need to. I am going to fill the racks up first and then I'll address what we're going to put in those shelves and then the two sets of shelves that you're sitting on. So just a quick update. We are moving along. Oh, Kaysen also, um, do you see that like hole, those holes right there? Um, that was like a bottom rack and this is where I put my dresses and I always had to like fight with that bottom rack. And the only thing we put on that bottom rack was like empty hangers. So I'll find somewhere else to put empty hangers, but he took that out for me so I can hang my dresses nicely. It's been like another hour or two and I've gotten, you can't see, but like, let me just show you. All right. All of like casual jackets, sweaters, long sleeve, short sleeve, tank tops. On this side, because I have a long hanging now, because case I took that bar, and the way back I have all like my long jackets or anything long, um, and then my dresses. And All right, I got this filled out. Now let me tell you, this is not for cutesy sake. All right, this was just form and function. We'll be cute later when we redo this whole thing. But so my boots, like these are like my work boots that I wear constantly. Case and, this is almost the total of Case and shoes. He has a couple more that he wears that we, you know, put in a different spot. My bags, my belt, my one scarf that I own. I'm not a bag person, and I still got rid of like six or seven. Um, hats right there. Um, like that's more winter hats, ball caps, my bathing suits, um, right there. Ooh, my fingers in the way. All right. That is like winter socks, gloves, long john type things, clan gun stuff, clan gun stuff. And then way up there is like Liverpool, jujitsu, hunting, that kind of thing. All right. And then... Skirts and pants. I had the fan on. It's so hot in here. Um, shirts. It's way too close, but they go back really far too. And then some of my nostalgia clothes. Those clothes. Nothing for Kaysen yet. 
those clothes that don't fit. Um, so far, that's just like our ski gear. Here's, I put all my shoes there, plus the ones behind you, plus some more in the bedroom. And then this is my dresses and then like longer coats down there. Anyway, making progress. Like I said, one of these days, I want to completely redo this. I want to get like matching bins and like rebuild built-ins and make it make more sense. And for a two day quick turnaround, we're getting there. Um, my bathtub is empty of shoes. I got rid of maybe 30 pair. I'm trying really hard y'all. Like before, I think I put a before clip in there, but like every one of these racks was like, I couldn't put another piece of clothing in there. So the fact that there's space is amazing. So um, the tub room just has like miscellaneous that I need Kaysen's help going through. Like, I don't know, like workout stuff and a little more clean gun, a little more jute jet so, you know, kind of things that I don't really know where to put. Um, close. We're close. We're, we're not going to be like 100% tonight, probably, but enough to feel back to normal. Enough. I don't know. Um, I'm so glad I did it. I think it's a nice refresh. Great to get rid of stuff. And now I have so many clothes to list on Poshmark. Um, my kids just went through their clothes recently, so I have like tubs of their clothes to list on Poshmark. Um, I got all my mother-in-law's clothes. I've been listing hers on Poshmark and then I just went through all my clothes. And so I will be neck deep in listings for the first C I ball future. But I will show hopefully tonight or tomorrow, show you the final product. All right, guys, we are back in my closet. Um, full transparency, it's like a week later. Not because I didn't finish on time, but because I just didn't have time to film like an outro. So we're actually into the next weekend, but it's done. Um, I'm so happy it's done. This is by far, like, this is not a dramatic transformation. To most people, this looks probably the exact same, but to me, I want to walk in here and I want to feel good. So the biggest thing is I actually have a little bit of space in my closet to add clothes. Not that I need to, but I can. I have hangers again. That was something that like I have been fighting for hangers. And I hate like buying new hangers, but like I finally have some extra hangers, which feels great. My shoes are purged and cleaned out, which feels great. And the biggest, biggest, biggest thing that has that's huge that I feel good about is that we have pretty much put nothing on the ground. So previously we had so much stuff like tucked in and it would just start to spill out. And as you move back here, like it's tight y'all like that's, that's tight back there. And so when there was stuff all over the ground, like it was almost like you almost couldn't access stuff way back there. And now my shoes are back there. So girl, we're going to have to access it. Anyway, so I'm going to show you a little before and after, a little final result. Like I said, it's not dramatic. It's not crazy. I am excited to fully redo this one day. This like really put a fire under me to like fully redo a closet. Not today. Probably not anytime soon, but um, feels better looks better. I can breathe a little easier. And it was a fun weekend project where I didn't lose my mind sitting around doing nothing. So here's the after. Have a good week. Bye.